Hi everyone. Since you have purchased the hexagon kit for doing a knife or butted edge and practicing on the ornament, I thought I'd show you a few quick stitches just so you could kind of see. First of all, you'll note my thread matches my top perfectly and that's going to help all those stitches blend. And then we're going to take just the slightest little nip of that fabric on both sides, right like that. And this would basically be um, just a basic whip stitch is all I'm doing on this one. And you'll see I can kind of manipulate that fabric a little bit too so that at the corner it's all going to line up exactly the way I want it to. And I just use my fingernails and my fingers to kind of keep manipulating it till I get it where I want it. And then just take those barely, I mean, one or two threads, tops, on either side, and then at the corner. Oop, and then everything wants to knot up on me. Okay, now I'm going to turn the corner. And like I say in the directions, you're going to clip in there, and you can see that clip is fraying just a little bit. But you'll also notice that I'm going to take my needle and kind of pull that under so that it aligns better. So when I get down to there, I'm going to be able to stitch that in and you're not even going to see that there, that, that clip was there. So I'll take a couple more little whip stitches here and then I want to show you the other stitch that I talk about, which is just the invisible applique stitch. It's a little more fiddly. You got to fiddle with it just a bit more, but not terribly so. Basically, that's taking a small bite on that side, on the outer side, like that. I mean, really a small little bite. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to do the same thing over on this side, but it's just within that lip. Can you see that it's just within that lip there? Just within the fold. And it takes a little bit more time to do that stitch, but you can also travel a little more. See how I can travel further on that one? I don't have to, on the whip stitches, you really have to kind of keep them close together. But when you're doing this stitch, you don't have to stay as close. You can travel just a little bit further within those folds of the fabric, which is really nice. And I'm gonna take this out later, but I'll show you real quick. Let's do this corner just so you can see it. So using the edge of my needle, like if I was doing applique, I'm gonna pull that down within, and I'm gonna take those two stitches right there. I'll go back and take it out. And then when I go to turn the corner, because this is what I wanna be able to show you is how to turn the corner. You'll see that when I was ironing, I didn't quite get that exactly where I wanted it, but using the tip of my needle, I actually like to do it from above, I can take that little bit and just pull it and fold it in and as I'm folding that in like that, see how that folded right in for me with that needle? Then when I go to take those stitches, I'm gonna do the same here, see? Right there. And then I've taken that corner stitch, one more corner stitch, and then work my way up out and when I say fiddle with this fabric, I mean, watch. Put that out of the way. I'm going to take and tuck and make sure that that top, that corner is going to match. And then as I go, I can use my needle to just keep tucking and twisting. And look at just a little cup, couple little tucks and a couple little twists. And right there, I've got it exactly where I want it. And this is where you could put a binder clip or a wonder clip or something if you really want to hold that. Or you go back to the iron and press it again and make sure it's right where you want it before you finish stitching that out. So easy. It just takes a little practice and a little time. But I know you can do it. And you can watch this video as many times as you need to. And you can always email questions. Thank you. Have a great day and good luck.